Do you know what? I've just filmed like a whole bit of video and I wasn't filming. Um, hey everyone, welcome to the start of another vlog. So today I'm with David. It's our day off. Is that working? What's that? Oh, it is. It is working. Um, yeah, so it's our day off and we've just parked up at the Harrods car park. Our plan is we're going to go into Harrods. We're going to go for some lunch. But there's a couple of things I want to look at in particular. So the first is in Fendi and it's actually a jacket I've been looking at since last summer and I keep putting it off and I keep thinking, do you know what, it's just going to keep going up in price so I might as well go and actually think about it for real this time. And also I want to have a look at a pair of shoes in Prada and these shoes I think are really going to be Marmite. You're either going to love them or you're going to look at them and go, Sophie, they're disgusting. What are you even looking at? But guess what? They're so popular. They are so popular that they're really hard to get my size in and they've ordered in my size but I just don't know at this point if they're going to have them in. They said to me that they ordered them in yesterday from Bond Street um, but when I spoke to the lady this morning on WhatsApp she was like they actually aren't here yet but they might be in by this evening or by this afternoon. So hopefully they'll be in on time. Uh, yeah. And that's it. Let's go shopping. Here we are, just at Harrods now. There's David crossing the street. And I'm going to go in because it's actually kind of cold today, you know that? Just heading upstairs to, you guessed it, Super Brands. My favourite bit in the whole world in this place. Look at this bag. Little dog just coming through to Chanel now and there's no oh no there is security but he hasn't clocked me just yet oh this is nice look at this jacket and this bag that's nice that pink jacket there and the bag quite like those sparkly mules at the top there. In fact, they're really nice in white as well, aren't they? And there is a bag here. This is like a new out bag. Got some sandals. Then what have we got here? Oh, some fancy heels. That was Chanel. There's some Celine there, but I think we're going to head straight. I might go to Prada, you know, see if they've got those shoes in just yet. Some nice bags there in Celine. What do we think? I do really like Celine, I will say. How's this video quality for you all? Are you uh, enjoying it? What do you think? This is 4K. So uh, yeah, it's quite good. David's found a bag. Um, I don't love that, to be honest. What do you think? What's it supposed to be? It's a bag. No, I know, but what's it supposed to be? What's it supposed to look like? It's just design, I guess. I don't know. It's a bit weird. I don't love it. What do we think? This is Balmain, in case you're looking at that and you're like, yeah, I really like that. It also comes in just plain black, just down here. If you can see that. I think, yes. I think this section used to be Chanel, and it's being refurbed, and I think they're going to make it. It's going to be huge, actually. Look, it goes all the way down there. I just saw, though, I've just come past Louis Vuitton, and I've seen this bag, the Capucines. I love the Capucines, but you know something? I don't know how you feel about it. I feel like it's very expensive for what it is, but it is super cute. It is really, really nice. That's a cute bag there. Is that new out? Is that bag new out? I'm not sure. I'm not so kind of, like, on the ball with Louis Vuitton. I don't really like the outfit. I don't like the outfit, no, I, I can't deny that. I don't love I don't love that. Let's keep walking around. Dior's just around this corner. We can go in Dior if you want. It's just here. Do you think we don't have time? Oh, that's nice. Look at that bag there. Oh, I really like that. I love the um D light which is what that is, you know, the Lady Dior, but embroidered. That's cool, that's really nice. They've got really expensive now as well though, including this, which is the plain Lady Dior in the leather. They're like 5,300 now, and I feel, I feel like that's kind of bordering on a lot. Well, it is a lot, isn't it? It is a lot. We have arrived at Prada, 
and just opposite Svendi, so it's super handy because I'm going to go in both. Uh, and I'm, I don't even think these shoes are going to be in, do you know that, to be really honest with you, because they would have messaged me by now, but I'm going to do fingers crossed, go in and just hope for the best. Oh, look, there's some more Lady Dior's there. What do we think of these? Small leather goods, very sweet. The shoes in question look... Actually, no, they don't look like that. That's not what they look like. They're kind of loafers, though. So the lady has just gone off to get the size 39 and a half. The 40 hasn't come in, but she said that the shoe actually runs quite large to size. So I'm really hoping that when I try on the 39 and a half is actually fine because I really want to wear these shoes. I'm going out for dinner on Saturday and I really want to wear these shoes on Saturday. So hopefully um, all works out. But as soon as uh, she comes back and I try them on, I'll show you and then you can decide what you think, whether you love or whether you hate. They're super nice in here. They've just told me I can film, which is just lovely of them. So I'm able to go around and show you things and talk to you and make it a bit more interactive. Some of the ready to wear, new ready to wear. These are nice, I like the little green one in the middle. And that pink one at the end, it's like quite subtle pink. Looks like Himalayan. I don't know whether it is, it might just be embossed leather, I'm not sure. Annoyingly, they didn't have the white in either size. Um, it turns out someone has potentially bought it, so uh, they couldn't get it for me. Now here we have Fendi. I'll just show you what's in the window first, actually. It's lovely and quiet in here today. Nice little peekaboo there. We have another one in like duck egg blue. Oh, I like that chain handle that's on there. Have another one here. Honestly, Fendi and Harrods, they're lovely. On every floor, they're lovely. But if you want a really good experience, you've got to come to level one. And I hope he doesn't mind me saying, but you have to ask for Edward. He's fantastic. This is my vlog. David's got something to say. No, I haven't. No, he Don't doesn't. making me take the stairs. No, right, OK. She says I'm fat. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, so... Fendi, I'm going to go back there because I saw Edward and he was, I'm actually early by about 40 minutes and he was with another customer at the time. So I'm going to go back. But we are now walking up to the fifth floor because... And we're on the second floor. Yeah, we've got a long way to go. <laughs> um, I'm walking up to the fifth floor with David because David wants to look at getting, you know, like these Apple watches that do your fitness for you. So he's been looking at that or the Garmin. Um, Actually, if any of you ha use either of those watches, if you know whether they're any good, please can you let me know in the comments because I know David would be interested to know. So let me know what you think. But yeah, we're just gonna walk there now. Just walking through and I've seen this sparkly dress and I really like it. Do I like it close up? Mm, kind of. Okay, so the Garmin's off, guys, because we've just come up to shoe heaven. No, so. we're still we're still going to look at the the watch. We are still going to look at it. But David was like, "Let's walk through shoe heaven." So here we go. We've got a bit of Dior here. We do like Dior, don't we? Some nice things in there, nice bags. I don't think I can go in and film with this camera because I'll get busted. Oh, here we go. Nice. Some more shoes there. There's some sandals there. These are nice. And they also come in like a nudie, like peachy colour. I feel like this bag is new. Do you know that? When I look at it, I feel like, is that one of the new ones? I think I saw that on Instagram where they were making it. Are oh, these boots though. Look at those boots. I like those and the book tote, oh sorry, there you can see, I'm still getting used to this camera, 
now we need to find David because um, he's done to me what he does in the supermarket, which is that he walks off and completely disappears. And then I'm like, where are you? And he's up some, some aisle somewhere. A bit of Louboutin. I do like this brand. Oh, are these new bags down the bottom here, the white one and the baby blue one. Look, there's matching shoes to go with it. Very nice. Good selection. Got some more Louboutin here. I'm hoping you can hear me because the background music here is quite loud. They're sweet. Look at those, the sparkle on those. And there's a matching bag. What do we think of the matching bag? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And there is a sparkly version of that bag as well. They're cool. Are you liking the smoothness of this? I feel like the, the footage is so smooth on this camera. It's amazing. And so far, I haven't been busted. Oh, I need to show you this. So this, if you go to Shoe Heaven, just kind of tucked around the corner is the cobbler. And look, they do handbag repairs now. How cool is that? And it also looks like they do kind of care kits. So you can take this stuff home and do it yourself. But this is where a lot of you say to me, where do I get the red bottoms put back on my um, Louboutins? And it's, it's here. I need to show this. So I went in and I got like a leaflet and they also do bag sales. So if you have a bag you want to sell, it looks like they will not only restore stuff for you, but they will also sell stuff for you. Just walking past the shoe department in Chanel, and obviously we can't go in to film because it's never going to happen. But I saw this in the window and I thought I'd show you it for any of you into the shoes and into the bags. Sometimes if you walk down here, oh no, they've pulled down the shutters. I was going to say, sometimes if you walk down here, they have things in the window, so they've got some more just here. I've literally turned around, David was stood there and he's walked away again. Yeah. You're there. The ceiling in here is incredible. So this is just above the escalators. I've shown you this ceiling before, but it's like Zodiac themed. I think it looks really nice. And then down, we have the escalators just down there. For a minute, I forgot what we were doing here. And I said to David, can we go back to Fendi now? And he was like, aren't we here to see my watch? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares about anything of mine. Nothing. Well, the thing is with guys is the stuff they want to look at. Sometimes it's not that exciting. <laughs> yeah, well, some, some of the stuff you want to look at is not exciting either, like those shoes you bought today. Well, it's exciting for me. Up to 33 hours standard. If you put it in a low, low battery mode, it'll last up to 60. David's just talking to the gentleman about which watch to get. And he's, he's very much deciding, as I mentioned earlier, whether he wants the Apple Watch or the Garmin. I mean, I said to him, I was like, get the Apple Watch because he's got everything Apple, like his laptop, his phone. I was like, surely it's just easier to get that. But I think the Garmin has more data on it than the iWatch from what he's seen anyway. So I've just come back to Fendi. I've actually left David to go and look at watches because I said to Edward that I'd meet him at two o'clock and it's two o'clock now. So um, it's actually just here. Let's go in. These are the two jackets I'm trying on. And the one that I know I'm gonna go for is the gray only because I tend to wear less dark colors now. And I really like pinks and softer pastels. And I know that that gray is going to go more with the color palette that I work with now, as opposed to the black, which is very classic but I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. Um, but they're both reversible, so if I show you, you can basically flip this one inside out and you've got this, and it's a lot softer. The double F print on this is a lot softer. If I show you this, you can see that it's got the classic double F monogram, which in the brown, I've got a jumper or like a top that's got this on it and I love it but it can be quite like loud whereas I think with this grey one it's just that bit softer so but I'm going to try on both anyway and see what I think but as I say I kind of already know um, and they've got like these pockets on them but as I say you can flip these inside out the zips are actually um, reversible so this is the grey and I love the gold zips on it it's just it's kind of like a subtle detail but I I do I do really like it 
So it's like kind of like that on the inside, as you saw. I'm going to flip it inside out now and show you what it looks like and like zip it up so that you can see as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. And it's also got pockets on, it's also got pockets on both sides. So when you wear it the other way, you, you're not losing out in pockets. And this is it zipped up. Not all the way, just like a little bit of the way. But I liked the, cro I like the cropped style of it. I do really like this. Particularly in this colour. Now I see it, I'm like, yeah, definitely, this is the one. And I know I can wear pink accents with this. Like at the moment, I'm just wearing black and white, but I could definitely wear a pink accent with this and completely get away with it, I think. And here is the black version. Oh, I do like this. Now I look at it, I do like it. It's very, like, classic. And just kind of, oh, I don't know. What do we think? And then on the inside, you just see that flash of monogram. And then this is it, reversed. It is cool, but it's a very different look, don't you think? It's like completely different vibe to that grey one. It's a lot louder. Um, oh, do you know, I'm so torn now. I came in here thinking I was going to get the grey, and now I've tried this on. I feel like I want to get this one. I just don't know. Okay, everyone, so I tried on both of those jackets, and I've made a decision, and I'm not going to tell you which one I went for. I'm going to do an unboxing, and I will show you what I got kind of nearer the time. But David's just come back to join me from looking at watches, although the watch he wanted, the Garmin, they don't have here. Is that what you said? They don't have it. So I don't know what your solution's going to be. You're going to have to find somewhere that does it and go there, potentially. I'm not sure. Um, it's annoying that they don't have it. Um, yeah, the Apple Watch is quite large on the wrist. It's quite thick. It's like when I saw it, I understand what you mean. Um, so he's more interested in the Garmin. Mm. But what I thought I'd do is while I'm, so I'm just waiting for the item to be wrapped up, but I thought I would walk around the store and sh the little concession here. Um, can we go to the pizza place? We can go to the pizza place, yes, for some late lunch. But I'm going to walk around and show you some of the bags. Show you some of the clothing anyway, at least. Got some bags down here. That's the bag I'm using today, by the way, the uh, iridescent Gucci. Here we've got a couple of bags. I really like these. These are Stingray, I think. And then these are new out. These two. This is the origami bag. I do like it in that, I don't think that's real snake, I think it's embossed leather, possibly, but I do like it. And also there, it comes in like a taupey kind of colour. We've got shoes over here, shoes and belts. There's that jacket I tried on, just to let you know it also comes in camel. Um, it's not a tone that I'm that I really have in my wardrobe, so I didn't bother with it. But if you are interested in that, that's what they've got. Okay, right, we did Fendi, as I just told you. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and get some pizza. I think it's upstairs, isn't it? It's upstairs. <laughs> David's just taken the, the escalator the wrong way. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to get some pizza now because we're starving. And then I need to go back to Prada because guess what? They managed to get my shoes in. I was so, so pleased. So uh, that's going to be the plan. David has my shopping bags. I don't know if it's this way. I feel like it could be. I've totally lost my, my bearings at this point. Um, I think it's up here. You, we can smell pizza, I will say. We've arrived, just gonna join the queue. Here is the menu and I already know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a classic margarita, um, which is just, just there. They have got some very good pizzas here. 
Chicken shawarma. Oh, wow. That looks really good. Our pizzas have arrived. They're absolutely huge, but you know what? They're so worth it. They're really, really good. They're very good pizzas in here, I will say. Very authentic, very delicious. So I'm going to go now and consume what I can of this. Yeah, nice. Do you like my socks? Yeah. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I hope you're liking this new camera. I filmed a couple of bits and pieces on it. It's got a microphone which is a game changer. Although I have to say I'm very sorry but I'm still going to have to continue using my phone for the shopping vlogs only because I took this camera into Selfridges for the last shopping vlog and I got busted straight away. The security were like not having any of it but you know what? The same security guard when I took out my phone didn't bother me at all. It just seems to be when you're using an actual camera that there is a problem. So um, I wish I could use this all the time because the quality is really good. But can you see it follows me, it follows my face when I move, the camera moves. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to go and have something done with my hair and I'm going to get what I'm calling mermaid hair. So. It's going to be 18 inch long. I'm having extensions put in and it's going to be 18 inch long extensions. And the last time I had hair extensions this long was actually in 2019, but I miss it. I miss that look, you know, I just miss that look. So that's what we're going to be doing. You're going to be coming with me and let's go. Okay, everyone, so we're just putting in the extensions now. And uh, we're gonna be here a while because there's quite a few going in, but I cannot wait to show you the result after. So this is my finished result. All in all, the whole thing took around about three to four hours. So when you get hair extensions, if you're not uh, sure about how it works, they start by washing your hair so it's really squeaky clean. They don't use any conditioner on it because they don't want the extensions to slide out. I had 90 18 inch great lengths extensions put in. And as you can see, Immy has kind of mixed in some caramel tones along with my darker shade. I absolutely love the look. and. With great length extensions, I don't find that they pull. I find that they it's real human hair, so it feels and looks very natural. It blends in with your own hair so much as well. And you can also get loads of different colors as well as fashion colors like pink and things like that. So there, um, I really do recommend them. Hey, <laughs> didn't I say this before? Every time I get my hair done, it rains. And if it doesn't rain, it's windy. And if it doesn't do that, it's both every single time. Uh, so it's there's like a little break in the rain. I'm just walking back to the car now. I've had my hair done. I won't deny it. I love it. I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. It's better than <laughs> it's better than anticipated, actually. I don't know how I expected it to look, but this is kind of better than I thought. So yeah, just heading back now, looking forward to seeing David, having dinner and relaxing and watching Married at First Sight, which I am obsessed with every single time it comes on the TV. David and I get really into it. Hey everyone, huh? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to part two. So today, um, David and I have actually taken two days off work because we're just sick of it, to be honest. Basically, we got all of our work done last week, which is really helpful. Um, but we have come to Guildford today. Now, Guildford is a town that's really close to my heart. Uh, it's, it's a town that I... I just spent so much of my youth here. I actually spent most of my career in Guildford, working my way up, and so I absolutely love it here. Um, might even bump into some of my old work colleagues while I walk around. You never know, because it is coming up to lunchtime. But we are in Zara, and we're going to have a look around and see what they've got. Let me just show you around and see what they've got in here. I actually came in here looking for a bodysuit, which they do have online, but not in many size. Actually, not in my size. But they said they had it in the Guildford store, so I'm going to try and find it. Um, 
This store's quite big, so I don't know where I'm going to start. As you can see, there's stuff everywhere. I've seen some quite nice accessories over here. Some nice summer dresses and shoes. What do you think of the of me filming in Zara? Because obviously normally I film in Harrods and the like, but I thought you could enjoy this. There's some nice um, crystallized bags just down there, actually. So far, I'm not seeing what it is that I'm after, to be honest. I've just seen this uh, jacket, and this is my style with the hoodie in it. I really, what do you think? I really like that, and it's really feels like good quality, you know? you can see the high streets kind of here and we've stopped at this place called Bill's which they do actually really good food here's the menu and I've eaten in here before a few times but we're gonna go in now and check it out so pretty around here these like little cobbled streets our food has arrived and David got the chicken burger and I got um, chicken Caesar salad with sweet potato fries and then after this I'm gonna go and get my nails done which is actually why I'm in Guildford <laughs> we've come into this interior shop in Guildford which is amazing I think it's called Oka OKA is how it's spelt and they've got some good stuff in here so David and I have just just stopped to have a look here I mean this isn't our particular taste, but see the wall panelings here. We're going to be getting some of these. And we've been having conversations about how high up the ceiling, or to the ceiling, that we go with it. Now here, it's quite high up. I don't think we'd go that high with it, to be honest. I think, I think it makes the room look smaller when it's this high. But it gives you some ideas. Yeah, David thinks because there's no panelling on. David's not a fan of the panelling. I like it, but I wonder whether it's going to date because I think at the moment it's quite um, in style, isn't it? But I wonder whether it, that's a trend that's going to die out and then we've got a load of panelling that I don't like anymore. This is Guildford Castle. Doesn't look very impressive, does it? But in the sun, there's quite a nice garden that goes around the back of it and it's lovely for a walk or to sit and have your lunch if you work in the area. I've just arrived to get my nails done and we're going in here, townhouse, but up there you've got the ivy. You've got loads of places in here to shop and it goes all the way down back there to the high street. And let me show you the procedure. So when you come through the door, there is a booking screen and on the booking screen, this is where you check in. Um, but also you can pick drinks here. There are cocktails. And when you go through this process, there is a fridge around the corner. You can select your drink. They've got basically got everything. And they also have their own products just here. So as you can see, they have hand cream, cuticle oil. These are my nails at the moment and they are broken. <laughs> They look awful, they have grown out, and I'm, I'm gonna do, be doing some nail art today, and I'm thinking I might do like a cream, a creamy kind of nail with a pink French tip. Something like that is what I'm thinking of, Just, and I'm hoping they can fix this broken nail. I'm sure if I ask nicely, they can do something with it. So everyone, what you do when you come in here, when you check in, you can basically go through and pick your color. So I'm gonna go for like a, beigey kind of colour on the actual nail and then I want to go for quite a bright pink tip, French French tip and the ladies just brought me over this colour which looks amazing and we've done like a test of both of those so we're going to go with this one. Townhouse actually also have branches in other places including in mainly in London I think from memory but what makes them so different is their aesthetic inside the shop is beautiful. It's all kind of like beige and stone and mirrors and really pretty. I love the way that you can electronically 
uh, select your drink, select your nail color, decide whether you want to buy any of their products. I actually bought the cuticle oil and it's been really good so far. I really love the way that my nails turned out. I was really so pleased with them. The whole process took a couple of hours because I had gel that needed to be removed as well, but um, I'm really, really impressed with them. I've now got my nails done. They're very Barbie style. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I will see you in the next video. It's a bit premature. <laughs>